Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners here and today I'm going to talk to you guys about global variables because I do use them quite a bit and it's going to be helpful for you to know about them. So I am going on to, I've got a screen here, um, I've got some buttons um, which will be useful uh, for some of the demos but essentially I'm going to just have a, uh, I've got two buttons here and I'm going to use both of them to power the same global variable. So if you go to the on select property, on select, uh, you'll see that nothing happens, that's false basically. So what I'm going to do is set GV, you don't have to do VGB, but, but that's what I do. Um, and I'll do photo visible status, it's a bit wordy, but there you go and I'll do true and I'm just going to copy this and I'll hide one I'll do set GV photo visual status to be false so that's interesting because the oh I put it into the size okay fine shouldn't have done that I'm going to copy that I'm going to put size, I think it was 30, yeah, and I need to go to the on select property of that, on select, and set the GV photo visible status to be false. Now what we can do then is we can do uh, insert uh, some text, just, just a label we'll do on this occasion, and if we put the uh, into there, if we put GV photo visible status, and you can see the status that it's at now is false. I'm just going to change the text size, size, and we're going to go to 30 on that. 30. Okay. And then what we've got is you can see that if we, uh, I, I tend to go onto the play um, icon. You really know that it's definitely happening. So you go show, true, hide, false. Now the point about global variables, and I t do tend to be using, I too tend to use global variables, um, is that they, as soon as you've set them, you can use them over and over again. And so what that really means is uh, that when you've got multiple screens, so I'm going to duplicate the screen here. In fact, I should have just put a new screen. Uh, and it's my duplicated screen. Uh, I'm just going to try and select all the objects and delete them. Delete that one. And so what we've got is the GV photo visible status is false there. Uh, well, it says it's false anyway. Um, so I'm just going to jump onto here. And yes, it is false. So I, if we, if we change the visible status to show, and that's true then if I pop a little button in to navigate across uh, insert ugh, insert button and on select navigate let's see uh, screen it must be one underscore one because it always is and then put fade then what you'll see is that if we go to the play icon we can click that and it still says it's true I haven't actually put a back button in, so I'll just jump onto the screen. Um, but if we do the same thing again, and we go hide, and it says it's false, and we navigate across, you'll see that it's false. So it's retaining the value across the different screens. So you can use um, you can use global variables in all sorts of ways. So you can put you can put text in there. You can put um, you can put numbers in there, you can put all sorts of things and um, so and I, and I you know when I use it in anger then um, I'll just show you the sorts of things that you can create. So here is an app that I put together excuse me so this is an app that I put together and uh, it was for a presentation and so essentially when you click on the screen um, everything appears and it's just using a global variable to do that uh, so you can turn you know a power app into a 
uh, is into, pres into a presentation quite easily. So that's global variables. Hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you again soon.